Hello and good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Pankaj, representing Prudent Insurance Brokers. We welcome you all to today's session on art therapy. We have with us Ms. Saili Porda. She is an expert in color therapy and emotional intelligence. Uh, she believes that painting is not just about creating beautiful pictures, but also about thinking, feeling, and expressing ourselves. She has worked with the corporates like LinkedIn, Accenture, and many more, and she has conducted numerous art-based sessions. We uh, we expect that uh, uh, every uh, practitioner, every participant, take the uh, full advantage of the expertise which we have with Sylee, and uh, uh, she will take over the session. Over to Sylee. Thanks. Thank you so much, Dr. Pankaj. Uh, hi, everyone from the Prudent family. Uh, my name is Saili, and I am an artist with uh, Wellness Associates. Uh, so by profession, I'm actually an engineer with five years corporate experience. And later on, I moved uh, to become a full-time artpreneur. And um, as Dr. Pankaj mentioned, I am a color therapy and an emotional intelligence practitioner. So uh, we are going to do a very different sort of a painting session today. So I hope everyone is uh, excited and they. Uh, I hope everyone is ready with your uh, papers and color box and everything of that sort. Right. So uh, if you if everyone is ready, if uh, you guys can type the word ready in your chat box. So I will just know that everyone is ready and excited to get started and um, we will just uh, start. Right. So today's topic is a very interesting topic. We are going to learn how to express uh, our emotions through colors. OK, so today it's not going to be about making a very beautiful and perfect painting, but it's just your painting can be, uh, you know, shabby. It can be anything that you want it to be. So uh, perfection is not going to be the aim of the day. It's going to be just expressing yourself through colors. Right. Uh, so with that, uh, I want to just uh, mention that, you know, we see colors every day around us. Uh, so we tend to take it for granted. So, uh, you know, we I just want to uh, bring to everyone's attention how our life would be without any colors in it. Uh, so just try to recollect um, like a very colorful memory that you have maybe you uh, you know went into a lush green forest or you saw a colorful uh, meadow of uh, flowers so just um, maybe try to recollect um, a very colorful memory that you have and with that in your mind we will start today's session so you know we are just uh, grateful to all the colors that we have in our lives which make our make makes our life you know worth uh, living otherwise um, it would have been very dull and gray right uh, so now uh, if you guys have recollected a few colors uh, and colorful memories uh, i just want again everyone to recollect our range of emotions right so um, just try to recollect a memory that you have uh, where you felt extremely angry at someone, right? So I will just give you guys a, a few seconds to recollect a memory where you were really angry at someone. You were just, uh, you know, didn't don't know what to do, shivering with anger. Just try to recollect uh, that memory. OK, uh, after that, I want you guys to uh, recollect a memory where you were extremely, uh, maybe say jealous of someone. You were working really hard for something, and uh, but you didn't get what you want, and maybe somebody else did, uh, and which is perfectly fine. We are all human beings, so we all feel this range of emotions, just that we need to sort of, you know, accept um, accept the fact that we do feel these emotions, right? So um, as I said, I want you guys to recollect a memory where you were feeling jealous of somebody. It could be at any level. Maybe you were slightly jealous. Maybe you were really jealous or uh, And uh, next, I would like you guys to recollect a memory 
uh, where you were uh, very fearful of something you were not maybe you were very fearful of trying something new maybe you were fearful of uh, doing a presentation uh, you know the sort of fear where uh, you feel that your throat is dry and you know your uh, hands feel numb uh, you know i hope uh, i don't i don't hope but uh, have you guys felt any such fear in your life then just try to recollect that memory and lastly uh, try to recollect uh, when you were extremely happy just uh, try to remember who you were with what you were feeling why you were happy and just try to recollect uh, that very happy feeling that you had in your life okay and uh, with that happy memory uh, i want you guys uh, so that you know everyone's attention is completely on the uh, webinar let's try to uh, write just type one thing that you are grateful for in the chat box okay so i want to see messages coming in the chat box so requesting everyone to just type in one thing that you are grateful for in the chat box okay so let's you know we i cannot see everyone here but uh, let's still try to uh, keep the session a bit interactive uh, satish uh, and dr pankaj requesting you guys also to encourage everyone in your teams to just type in the chat box uh, one thing that you guys are grateful for uh, satish and dr pankaj Hi. we can get started with you yes sali we have uh, received few messages so like yes okay because i am not able to I'll see just, it for yeah i'll just read out for you sure okay i can see something now. thank you for the grace of god family parents my mom my life my job life 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 okay. Okay. intelligence happy parents. family intelligence yes I am grateful for my family and friends. Grateful for a beautiful life. Great. Excellent. Thank you guys for typing in. Uh, that means you guys are attentive and you know truly into the session. So thank you so much for that. And uh, now I'm just going to share my screen very quickly. I'm going to go through a few colors and the emotions that they represent. and so we will be using that knowledge to paint today so you guys can take notes or i will be uh, like also sharing like uh, keeping the screen on so don't worry about it but you are like feel free to take notes as well okay so can everyone see my screen uh, sushma can you see my screen yes sai it's visible okay perfect so uh, we'll just start with uh, some uh, colors and the emotions and uh, then we'll uh, start painting in just 10 minutes okay okay so we are going to start with uh, you know the purest color uh, and that is white okay so white uh, stands for uh, purity perfection and innocence so it's the purest purest color so you know like a white piece of paper which doesn't have anything on it uh, is you know pure and unadulterated so that is what white stands for so except for the extreme colors like white and black all other colors stand for a positive and a negative emotion both so you can use that color to uh, represent the either of these emotions so uh, white stands for purity and innocence and the extreme opposite of it which is black it start uh, it uh, represents you know uh, the darkest feelings that we have so it could be something like uh, deep deep grief or uh, sorrow which we experience when when maybe we lose somebody who is important in our life maybe they have hurt us very deeply that we cannot get over that feeling very easily right so the darkest feelings that we have in our life uh, are represented by the color black and uh, you know when you use the rest of the colors when you if you want to uh, make that uh, emotion a little milder or a little stronger you can you mix it with a little bit white or black to um, you know make that uh, emotion either a little uh, more soothing or uh, uh, 
uh, it can be a little bit darker uh, with black right and right in between uh, white and black is the color gray right so gray stands for apathy or indifference right so uh, gray is like an in between color of neutrality where um, i don't really care about a person or a situation and i'm just indifferent to it so that is represented by the color gray right and next rest all of the colors are um have a negative and a positive connotation to it so uh, for example yellow uh, yellow is a very bright and cheerful color it stands for uh, happiness and cheerfulness but also yellow represents uh, cowardice in a person so when you uh, when i asked you guys to recollect uh something that you were fearful about or something that you were anxious about that uh is represented by the color yellow okay uh then again uh orange is also um like a vibrant color so it represents joy and optimism and um you know on the negative side uh orange represents uh reckless uh behavior okay then uh, coming to red uh, so red color is the color of extreme energy and passion so uh, you know it can rep like it represents very strong uh, two emotions that is love and anger right so uh, there are some people in our lives who we love like with our deepest emotions and from the when we say i love you from the bottom of my heart right so that that emotion is represented by red okay and uh, also on the negative side red represents um, anger right so again when we are like extremely angry at somebody uh, that can be represented by red and there are so many people in our lives for for with whom we have a love hate relationship right so the people who are closest to us and the people whom we love the most are also some are also people who we get very angry at right so those love hate relationships can be represented by the color red and then pink is a sort of milder and a softer form of red uh, so it represents a very romantic uh, sort of love uh, your first love your first crush uh, you know that can be represented by pink and you know it's a very kind and gentle feminine romantic sort of a color and um, also it represents people who are you know detached from reality we say that you know some people are in their own world they live in their own own la la land right so those people can be represented uh, by pink right uh, then let's come to the cooler colors uh, so blue color uh, represents uh, wisdom loyalty and uh, trust uh, so if you uh, you if you must have seen um, a lot of banks use the color blue in their logos right because they want us to trust them right so uh, blue represents uh, loyalty and trust but also on the negative side so now blue uh, is used very commonly for a certain emotion and i'm sure everyone is aware of it so if uh, i can again see some answers in the chat box if you know what blue stands for and uh, sushma just let me know if someone types in the chat box i just want to see if they know what blue stands for sure uh requesting again everyone in the audience to just type in the chat box if you know what blue stands for it's very commonly used it's a very common connotation so i'm sure many of y'all will know it loneliness okay depression loneliness okay so you guys are almost right so you know we we say i am feeling blue today so that just means that you're not up to the mark you're not at the high point of your day you're just feeling a little sad and uh, just not in the mood maybe or something of that sort and um, so if it's like a deeply uh, deep grief then we as i show, as i explained before it's shown uh, it's represented by black but if it's like a mild just sadness then you can represent it by blue right uh, then comes the color purple uh, purple stands for uh, mystery magic and creativity 
uh, and it also uh, on the negative side it stands for pride and immaturity and you know narcissistic uh, sort of behavior so that's the positive and negative purple and uh, again green is very commonly associated with something so if anyone knows what green stands for again uh, please type in the chat box so i know that you know sad dull feeling sadness exactly feeling gloomy elegance. perfect elegance calming color right so green is very uh, commonly associated with actually jealousy and resentfulness right so when um, you know even in cartoons if you are seen if somebody is jealous of someone they are it, they are represented by green right so the common connotation to green is actually jealousy but uh, so when you but when you obviously enter into a lush green forest you feel that uh, sense of calmness and uh, energy so uh, green stands for the fresh and the calm feeling that you get when you are in midst of nature and also um, it stands for jealousy right and uh, last but not the least is the color brown so brown is uh, the color of the dirt that is all around us right it's the it's a very dirty murky color so it stands for that feeling of dirty or murkiness that you might have towards someone and it also stands for um, stability right the color of the ground which is humble and stable so the positive connotation of brown is the feeling of humility and stability right so i am going to put this summary of colors in front of everyone when we actually paint so that if you guys have not taken notes uh, you guys can refer to this uh, and uh, let me just show you a few examples here meanwhile uh, so now that we know have the knowledge of colors uh, we are going to now use this knowledge to actually draw right so what we are going to do is we are going to draw a flower okay so you need not you don't need any prior art experience for this because as you see you see in this picture uh, you just draw have to draw a simple flower right and uh, you know so, um, we have to draw our emotional and mental state our emotional map on the paper right and uh, our state of emotions is you know it is affected by the people around us and the people closest to us and the environment that we are in right so the center of the flower is going to be you because you know you are the center of your own universe right even if you and your husband or wife or children you stay in the same house even then your universe is very different from the universe of your uh family right so i completely believe that we live in a parallel universe we uh, because you know the uh, many scientists are still figuring out whether or not we have parallel universes exist but i truly believe that uh, we all live in parallel universes right my universe is different from your universe right so the center of the flower will be you so whatever color that you want to represent for yourself is going to come in the center of the flower right so you may uh, feel like uh, you are a very vibrant and a positive person so you can put yellow in that or if you feel that you know you are a very calm and a loyal person you can put blue in that and you can have multiple colors in uh, every uh, in the center also or in every petal that you draw right and the petals around that flower are going to represent your innermost circle so the closest people in your life that influence your life um, it could be the family your bestest friends your uh, colleagues that you work with every day so you're going to represent that in form of petals so your petals can have as less as three colors or as many as uh i don't know 50 100 petals as many as you want right so your inner circle is going to be the petals the in side is going to be you and the rest of the canvas obviously is going to be the rest of the world right so um so for something like me i am pretty indifferent to uh, some part of the world when they show it on news and media i really don't care what's going on and i really try to avoid even watching the news so i would you know i am pretty indifferent so i would use a gray to represent how i see the world there are some people obviously that i do uh, care about uh, the 
uh, but you know the a lot of people i just uh, i'm just pretty indifferent about so you know so the rest of the world uh, is going to be the rest of your canvas right so uh, if you see here on the picture there are there's one person who has drawn three flowers right so what he has done is he has drawn three different flowers for his uh, personal life his friends uh, his family friends and his professional circle right so you can choose to add your own creativity to this and if you see the center of the flower is different in dif um, is different in each of those flowers right so because he is different when he is with his family he is different when he is with his friends and uh, different when he is with his professional circle and that is pretty much true for all of us right so you can use your own creativity when you have to show uh, your flower and your universe uh, but if you uh, are not getting any ideas you can use the basic structure of the single flower and drawing that universe and you know you can see this one girl who has represented it in the form of a garden so she has shown one flower that stands for each person in her life right and here if you see uh, these some of these people have drawn it in a completely abstract way um you know one uh, girl has chosen to show it in form of bubbles so there's a bubble maker which is black and white in color and rest of the emotions that are there in her life are represented by different bubbles and the sizes of the bubbles is what she has varied with um, the different colors that she has shown and uh, last example i want to give you of this boy who has you know completely shown his entire life cycle on the canvas right and then he has shown his school where he was a very vibrant and happy then he has shown uh, he was in the army for um, some time so he has shown that stability with brown and the pride with uh, the color purple and then uh, he was playing uh, national level badminton uh, so he has again shown uh, pride and the passion that he had uh, with the color red and um, then he uh, he has shown the innocence that he wants to you know get back he he wants to come back home and stay with his family so that he is again represented with positive uh, colors of yellow and orange right so with these examples um you are open to you know create your own um, emotional map and you are open to choose pick and choose some of these ideas as well so i leave that completely up to you and uh, that's all from my side so now we are going to start the actual process of painting and i'm going to have the summary of colors in front so that you can refer to it and um, i'm going to play some music so that uh, you know you guys are in a calm state of mind when you are painting and any questions you can type in the chat box and uh, you know sushma can ask me those questions